Good afternoon to you both. Um, Ed, I'll come to you first. As Elon says, I mean, clearly this has shocked the market uh, and it's uh, some, some surprising numbers and headlines in that. But, but to what extent, as Elon was saying, has a lot of this been leaking out, reported, and, and therefore not as much of a surprise as the intraday S&P 500 chart might suggest? Yeah, well, I'm shocked that it's shocking. Uh, this is exactly what Biden had ran on. Uh, he has been saying for weeks that there is going to be a social infrastructure bill coming that is going to include increase in taxes on the top income households. Uh, the one million mark is there. I do think this is a high water mark. Uh, it would have been more shocking if this was not going to be included in the plan. And to Elon's point, uh, President Biden was critical in getting the ACA passed, Obamacare. And so for not including those taxes, that would have been the surprise. So uh, this is the high water mark. We're going to negotiate from here. We probably have some compromise. Uh, but anyone who's shocked by this has not been paying attention to exactly what Biden has said he's going to do and what he has been doing since he's been inaugurated. Jimmy, does a capital gains tax above 40 percent, uh, all things considered, shock you? Uh, if this is the, that's, if that's the final number, yeah, it does shock me. That is a historically high number. Uh, when Silicon Valley really became Silicon Valley in the 80s, it was 28 percent. And listen, it's not that 4 percent number that I think is hurting the market. It's that you have plenty of big bank lobbyists and sort of other sort of tax lobbyists who have been telling uh, banks that the number is going to be 28 percent, that even though Biden, yes, Biden is talking about raising the 40 percent during his campaign. But I think the market expectation is for 28 percent. And they and, and now if they think it's actually going to be 40 percent plus another 4 percent. Yeah, that's pretty shocking. And that would explain a big market sell off. Can, can it get done? Because if it is so shockingly high, Jimmy, presumably Senator Manchin would have to sign off so that they can pass it under reconciliation. How likely is that? I mean, I mean, the argument against it is, is, is pretty obvious. That one is a historically high rate. And then when you take this rate, combine it to an increasing corporate uh, income tax rate, you have an integrated tax rate that very well may be the highest in the world. Uh, I think the fact that people are already backing off that 28 percent corporate tax rate uh, is a good sign it's not going to end up being over 40 percent. That that number is like liberal progressive fan fiction. I just don't think that's what we're going to get at the end. And uh, it, ultimately, is it worth uh, focusing on, on these types of numbers, trying to get them as, as high as this? Or should there be other aspects to it, as we often talk about uh, the step up basis uh, on capital gains and, and other potential loopholes to close rather than pushing for such a high number? Yeah, so I think what I'm looking at here is one of the first lessons I learned in Washington, D.C. is never negotiate with yourself. And so Jimmy might be right. We might end up at 28 percent. We might have changes to the SALT tax. We might have other kind of parts of the tax code that were eliminated in 2017 that come back in. Uh, this is really not at all uh, baked into kind of, uh, you know, as a final deal. Uh, this is the start of the conversation. Uh, what Democrats do see is that when they are proposing uh, increasing taxes on the wealthiest, especially those who have annual income above $1 million, uh, that's fairly popular kind of in the polls. So they're, of course, going to try to deal with this. What is not discussed is to a secret reason, I think, why they are trying to match capital gains, dividends, uh, at ordinary income is the issue of carried interest. That's been a thing that Democrats have tried to do for a long time. We are not seeing a proposal to change carried interest. But if you do change all income coming into the household at an ordinary statutory rate of 39.6, you dealt with the capital uh, gains issues in carried interest as well. And so I think that's part of the reason why I think Democrats will push for this harder than maybe has been appreciated. This thing's a money loser. What about the economic? Up that high, okay. they actually lose Go. us revenue. I mean, if anybody cares. What, what do you mean? Well, listen, uh, you know, the, jo the Joint Committee on Taxation, their analysis shows that a rate, the maximizing rate is 28%. So listen, if you want to take it up to 40 or 44% uh, for some sort for egalitarian reasons, uh, that's fine. But if the goal here is to raise money for the government, 
That rate's probably a money loser. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.